many of us are concerned about developing dementia and we want to do whatever we can to reduce our own risk. What if I told you there was a recent study published in the prestigious Journal of Nature in July 2024, which found a potentially new way to reduce dementia risk. Today, I'm going to share with you this potentially new way to reduce risk, and I'm going to give you full access to the study so that you can dive into the details if you want to investigate further. Now, we've all heard the usual way to reduce dementia risk. These include things like regular exercise, eating healthy, no excessive alcohol use, not smoking, all the basic things. In fact, I did a video on five ways to reduce your dementia risk, which I will be sure to link below. But this study suggested something entirely new. Now, for at least several years, there has been evidence to suggest that preventing shingles can help reduce dementia risk. Evidence suggests that shingles, also called herpes zoster, can actually increase the risk of dementia. Shingles or herpes zoster is a viral infection that causes an outbreak of a super painful rash or blisters on somebody's skin. Now there is no cure for shingles, but there is a vaccine to reduce the risk of developing shingles and reduce the risk of the pain associated with it if you do develop it. Now there have been previous studies that have suggested a shingles vaccine can reduce dementia risk, and I will link the older studies below. But those older studies looked at a shingles vaccine that we no longer use. In fact, in 2020, the main shingles vaccine called Zostavax was discontinued and replaced with another vaccine. This one is called Shingrix. So the new study that was published in July 2024 looked at the old vaccine and how effective it was at potentially reducing dementia risk. And they looked at the new vaccine to see if this new vaccine also showed that same potential of reducing dementia risk. The main differences between the two vaccines is the older vaccine contained the live virus in it, and this new vaccine does not. So the study looked at the records of over 200,000 Americans over the age of 65, and they followed those individuals for six years. And what they found was that the individuals who received the Shingrix vaccine had a lower likelihood likelihood of developing dementia over that six-year period. In fact, they found people who had the Shingrix vaccine had a 17% lower risk of developing dementia over that six-year period. Now, for the people who had the vaccine but did go on to develop dementia, they found that having the vaccine delayed the onset of diagnosis by 164 days. Now, this study received a lot of media attention because even though this isn't a new idea that preventing shingles can reduce dementia risk. All of the previous studies were comparing people who had the vaccine compared to people who did not have the vaccine. This study actually looked at people who had the old vaccine compared to people who have the new vaccine. And the new study shows that yes, in fact, it still continues to reduce dementia risk. We no longer in the United States use the old vaccine, but it is still used in some other countries. Okay, so why is it that this vaccine could potentially reduce dementia risk? What is it about it? There are three possible reasons. So the first reason is protection. The shingles vaccine helps protect against the herpes zoster infection. And there's a hypothesis that herpes infections increases the risk of dementia. Preventing those infections reduces dementia risk. So the second potential reason has to do with immune effects. Vaccines help develop and maintain proper immune responses. So this strengthens the body's overall response against pathogens, and that's thought that it could help with brain health. The third idea is about inflammation. By reducing shingles outbreaks, it reduces inflammation in the body. And there's a theory that inflammation plays a role in developing dementia. So what does this mean for you as a care blazer? Well, if you're worried about your own dementia risk or that of a loved one, then you want to consider discussing the shingles vaccine with your medical provider. Remember that this is only one piece of the puzzle. I don't think preventing dementia is ever going to be one simple, easy, straightforward way. I think it's going to be a very holistic way of trying to reduce risk involving all kinds of things like diet, exercise, moderate alcohol use, no tobacco use. It's going to be the big picture. This is just one sliver of the picture that you could consider. This would never replace the importance of 
all of those lifestyle factors that are important, which I've talked about in a video before, and I'll link below. Now, I have linked the older studies showing that the older vaccine could help reduce dementia risk, and I've linked this new July 2024 study below in the description that talks all about how that could also potentially reduce dementia risk. You can dive into the details yourself and make your own well-informed decision. Um, in the meantime, for those of you who are looking for a community of support and looking for a place to get guidance and support and practical solutions to real world caregiving issues, I invite you to check out our Care Collective program where we get together every single week for question and answer sessions, support groups, and so much more. You also get access to a 24-7 private library of resources. It's amazing. There's a link in the description below where you can learn more about that as well. Careblazer, I'm sending you so much love. Take care. Bye. Also, Nico gets a belly rub for every person who subscribes from this video. So if you haven't already, click the red subscribe button. It's totally free. And Nico says, thank you very much.